Vincer. Too much time. We got to win up front. You got to win up front. That's it. That's it. Get it out. Get it out. Third down. Get a stop. Third down. Get a stop. Third down. Get a stop. D, let's go. Hey, get these guys going on the sideline. Let's go, D. Back, back. Too much. Too much. You feel your hand? You got to get back that way. You know what I'm saying? Your first step was way too long. You came through fine, but he's standing straight up. You know what I'm saying? Don't settle what he's doing. Do what you do. Now you're a shade. Just play through that shoulder. You want to cock, cock, do whatever you want to do. Uh, I think it's just, it's two and the same. Uh, to me, they got to be tough. They got to have relent, be relentless, uh, and they got to want to work harder than everybody else. And that's the only way you get to have a good defensive line. And I think at times our guys did that last year, and they were they were successful in certain areas, certain times, and. You know, we got to get better and be more consistent. Let's go. I don't care anything. I don't care what happens. Knock the kid in front of you back. Let's go. Knock him back. Hands. Knock him back. Get off. Nice job. Hey, get off the swim. Don't swim. Everything was perfect but the swim. Nice job. Good job, Junior. Stay up. Stay up. Be an athlete. Let's go. Wallstrom, ball hand down. If you're going to shade, that hand's down. To me, honestly, the biggest thing going into this spring, this year, because uh, I think every, it's, every year it changes because you have different kids. They're at different points in their career. Uh, right now, my biggest thing is to find out who the toughness of the kids and to gear everything back to technique. I think technique is going to be huge because when – when bullets are flying and it's 105 degrees out and you're in a stadium that's packed and everyone's cheering against you and you're at the 10-yard line trying to hold the team from going in, toughness is great, you need it. Relentlessness is great, you need it. But it goes back to technique. You win on technique. If you have great technique, you can defeat people that are better than you. So I think technique this spring especially is get back to technique, get back to throwing our hands, good hand placement playing with low pad level, you know, basic stuff that you, you don't preach as much during the season because you're so worried about a game plan, you're so worried about the, the opponent. Right now, you you got to win versus yourself, and that goes back again to technique. Are you tired right now? Yeah. You tired? No, I'm mic'd up, man. You tired? No. All right, man, all right, all right, next play, you're in. All right, I'm with you, I'm with you. make up for it that next one. You did a great job that last one. All right, yeah. we just got to get that down. Yeah, I, and I, if I remember right, it was a long play that got him down there. Uh, and then, you know, again, it's one of those things where the kids were pretty much calling what we were running. I mean, hey, what do you want to run? They were, we're running gap, and that's what we ran. And, you know, the first down, you get a stop. You know, it's great penetration. It's, you know, 11 guys doing the right thing all the time. And you talk about it, you talk about it, you talk about it. Well, down there in such a tight area, where everything is condensed and there's nowhere to hide. Everybody's looking. I mean, that's in, in the goal line situation is really the only situation you'll ever see in football uh, that you see all 11 guys inside a hash, close to the football, trying to get it in like that. Uh, and nowadays you see it less and less because teams don't even do it. Teams don't even get into those formations. So to me, that when one guy makes a play, everybody sees it and they just feed off it. And then it was second down, same thing. One guy made a play, everybody fed off it. Third down, another two guys made a play, everybody fed off it. And then Demetrius makes a great hit. There's great penetration with Nolak and some of those other guys up front. Uh, you know, and that, that emotion takes you through a whole game. You know, at the end of the day, there's no difference between you're calling power right from our end or calling power right from their end. What separates you? Okay, yeah, you got maybe some bigger, or stronger kids. It's emotion uh, and technique. And if you can combine the two of them, you could be really, really good. There you go. There you go. There you go. Nice job. Nice job. Hey, third down. Get a stop. Get a stop. Get him out of field goal range. As I as I get to here to clear, I don't want to widen my feet out. I want to get here. You know what I'm saying? You're doing this. Your feet are getting this wide, and then you're stepping through here. You're finally stepping through, but now let's get to here. Boom, I'm here. My, I'm facing the quarterback, right? And now I'm stepping through. See how much easier that is? I mean, a guy, a guy with one leg could do it. You could do that. T 
to me, I think the biggest thing I miss is what I just talked about, emotion. I can, uh, the closest thing I can get to it now is being a coach standing on the sideline. There's nothing like it. Like I talk about when, you know, when I played, I was, I was lucky enough as a true freshman, we played Tennessee and there were three in the country and we beat them. There's nothing like that feeling in the world. Uh, but I will say this, the, that same feeling was the feeling I had versus UConn. You know what I mean? That, to me, the biggest thing you miss is when you're out there with your buddies and you make a play or me being a former offensive lineman, you know, I, we work a double team to get a first down and the guy next to me, you know, we know we get the first down and we're laying on the ground and it's like, hey, we just drilled this kid to get a first down. You miss that, that camaraderie and that, that bond you have as a player with all the other guys. Uh, to me, that's the biggest thing I miss. Good, go. good, nice job, nice job, nice job, nice job, nice job. Just stay low, me, stay low, me. Hey, good job of keeping your hands on the tackle for that second step. It's making you do that. Ah, run that feet, that foot, that second foot, right? I think that a, a newfound uh, belief in technique because we've showed them uh, the right technique, which in turn will give them confidence, which in turn will make us make plays. Uh, so to me, those kids have to have great, feel great technique on the 14th. Confidence that when we come out ready to go in fall camp, first game of the year, we're gonna be ready to play. Uh, and, and a bond with the guys. Like I, I, we need to be closer. Because it's not a secret, close teams normally win. They don't win all the time, but the really, really good teams are close teams. And I, I, th I don't think that's a, a secret. So we have to get, become closer as a unit, come, become closer as a uh, defense, become closer as a team. So to me, it's hard to let somebody down that you care about. And that's one of the things that we're trying to preach, and hopefully that's what happens on the 14th.